Man, oh man, my all on it. Oh, 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 what is that? Wall of fame. Right in that pond. I used to have these triceratops. I have a couple more ponds. Look at that. <gasps> now on this side, so cool. What is that? I don't even know what to say. Wowzers. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium, hobby, and man, oh man, my ohana, do I have a treat for you guys. I'm in the beautiful city of Yuba City, California, at the iconic Geyser Pets. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, we haven't been here for a while, and I figured, you know what? Let's come out, check out the Geyser Pets family, and see what's going on, especially that 800 gallon fresh water community tank that they have here. I can't wait to show you guys. I just took a glance at it. Wowzers! Geyser Pets has been here for over 25 years, and they're sort of like your one-stop shop. They have everything from birds, reptiles, snakes, little cute guinea pigs, big monitors, tortoises, and even triceratops. Ah, uh, just kidding. Bearded dragons, look it. And of course, they have salt water and freshwater fish here at Geyser Pets. They're like your one-stop shop. They carry it all. So here is the world famous wall of fame, I call it. This is where they have all their nano fish. They also have beautiful, beautiful bettas. Look at this betta right here. That's a beautiful betta. Look at the streamers. It looks like a party fish, right? If you guys are into guppies, they have a beautiful selection of guppies. Look at the all black guppies. Those are absolutely gorgeous too. There's another beautiful betta. Oh, look at these guppies. These are yellow German male guppies. These are all males but the colors. Some more beautiful guppies, a nice different variety collection of guppies. Well, I'm a big fan of endlers. Look at these beautiful endlers. I don't even know what kind of endlers they are, but ooh, the color, come on, let's focus. Don't swim around, look at that. <gasps> look how pretty, those endlers are gorgeous. There's a little dwarf gourami right there too, if you're into gouramis. So the reason why I call this wall the wall of fame is because each one of these nano aquariums are scaped differently they took the time to scape each one different which was really cool and it's appeasing to the eyes but not only that though when they put in an order for betta fish and the betta fish come in they don't keep them a storm in those cups like some of the big box stores do they have their each individual aquarium and they live a nice comfortable life until they're ready to go home with you now on this side of the aquarium store is more of your semi-aggressive to community fish oh check Ooh, these you got out some gold barbs cherry barbs in here along with a electric blue Akara, as you can see the combo. Pretty neat, right? They got some rosy barbs in here. They got some geophagus, some beautiful dwarf Garamis. Oh, look, they even have an aquarium full of albino brichardi with some frontosa. But these albino brichardi, I used to have these. Ah, absolutely love them. These are African cichlids. Look at them, smaller African cichlids, more like dwarf African cichlids. Oh, look at, they even have some cute little gold rams. They have a group of panda quarries. I love panda quarries, super cool. And then look at, they even have the koi angelfish here too as well. Ooh, look how pretty these koi angelfish are. I can't forget one of my favorite dwarf cichlids, the German blue ram. Look how pretty. Ooh, these guys are nice. They also have an aquarium full of one of my favorite tetras, the rummy nose tetra. Look how pretty they are. And they look so nice when they're all schooling together. They're showing really nice color. Look at that like finish line tail that they have. I absolutely love these guys. And they look really nice when they're in a school of like seven or more. They look really cool. Nice schooling fish. Look at them. They're really nice size too. Now that I look at them, they're not tiny. They got some nice size rummy nose tetras here. But they have some beautiful Bosmani rainbow fish in here along with some giant Oh yeah, they are giant Danios. Look at the giant Danios. So pretty. These are really cool fish to have in a community tank. All my angelfish lovers, look at these beautiful black angelfish. They're nice. They got a nice selection of angelfish, different types of angelfish in here, along with some albino corridoras swimming around here too as well. But yeah, cherry barbs. I love cherry barbs. Nice little nano fish there. Oh, look at these tiny little ember fish. Those are nice little schooling fish. See if we can zoom in on some of these. They're pretty though. Look at them. And they're in here with these fish. I don't even know what these fish are. What are those? I don't know what these are. Anybody know? Comment down below if you guys know what fish this is. I'm actually kind of curious now. What is that? Huh. Look, they look like scats. I don't know. They look kind of cool though. They look like they're juvenile. 
They have a nice selection of goldfish too. They have Oranda, Ryukin. Down over here, they have some beautiful Shubankin goldfish. And then if you're into Africans, they have a bunch of different Africans here. Looks like they have some Mbuna in here, uh, along with some, looks like, well, a lot, of, a lot of young ones in here. But I also see some OBs in here. Down over here, a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, look at these. Pretty, look at that yellow. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. Peacocks in here and Bunas. A nice little combination. That's a big one right there. Look at that one. That one's a nice big one. But anyways, these yellows though, African cichlids, fresh water, you would think that they were salt water, right? But they're not. These are fresh water fish. Dude, look at this one right here. Oh, I love that one. That looks like outer space, right? All the stars, black midnight sky. They got big fish here. We got some blood parrots. Ooh, wow, look at that one there. Ooh, is that a Texas cichlid? Oh, he's a big one. He is a big one. Got Oscars, albino Oscars in here too. Looks like a Salvini cichlid. Yeah, they got a Salvini cichlid. Nice size Salvini. Ooh, wee. Iridescent sharks in here. Looks like the Paku, albino Paku. Look at these teeth. Let's see. Wait, is this a Paku or is this a piranha? If he opens his mouth up, you guys tell me. Paku? or piranha oh you see their teeth oh 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 what is that is that piranha or paku you guys tell me ah uh, this is a nice little collection of cichlids in this aquarium you have tiger oscars you have albino oscars ruby red oscars hmm festum cichlids red jewel cichlids in here nasty cichlid too as well it's a small one i don't know where he's hiding at uh, pink marble convict cichlids so they have a nice variety look at him that's a beauty huh all right you guys want some monster godzilla looking fish here are the bicher these are big ones too i would say they're pushing about a foot look at them see those scales they're so prehistoric or i shouldn't say scales i should say they're fins look at those dorsal fins when they stand up they're like spines but these right here are true monsters look at them they almost look like an eel but look at the color beautiful pattern I actually love these bichers. One day, one day I'll get a bicher. People call them different, bicher, bicher, different way, bikers too as well. I've heard all different ways of saying this fish, but super beautiful, look at them. All my salty heads, they do carry a wide variety of frags. So you got a bunch of different corals. Aquariums here devoted to corals. Oh, look at that little fox face. You see that little fox face? Beautiful saltwater fish. And they have a nice, beautiful saltwater aquarium here with all different types of corals, anemones, everything for purchase too. Look at that. It's pretty, right? Zoom out, take a little walk through the saltwater world. Look at this eel that's just hanging out. Hey, what's up, Mr. Eel? I wonder what kind of eel that is. Huh, I have no idea. But he's pretty cool. They love their little PVC pipes. He thinks he's hiding, but if you look in the back there, look at Half of his body's hanging out the other side. It's a nice little collection in this aquarium. You got a ras here, you got a dory fish, hippo tang. Uh, I'm not sure what type of saltwater fish this is. This looks like some type of maybe angel. I'm not sure. Sorry guys, got a bunch of clowns in here. <laughs> got a bunch of clowns in here. All right, so I showed you guys some of their freshwater fish, some of their saltwater fish. Now I'm gonna show you guys their above ground pond that they have inside the store full of beautiful koi fish. Now. If you didn't know, I'm about to tell you guys something about my channel. The very first two koi fish I ever purchased was from Geyser Pets, right in that pond behind me. So I bought that beautiful white butterfly koi, and I bought another butterfly koi, a Kujaku. And I'll show a video of them right here on the screen, so you know which two koi that I bought here at Geyser Pets. That's something for all you newcomers that are new to the channel that you guys didn't know. This is the place where I bought my first two koi fish. Now look at my koi pond. It's absolutely out of control, right? Let me flip the camera on and show you their selection of koi fish. Look at them all, just schooling. So pretty. The water is super clear in this above ground pond. Look at them all. And it's, what's cool is you can actually feed the koi fish. Right here is a little feeder. You can feed the koi fish and they go nutsos. Watch these little baby piranhas. I just have a little piece of food there. Watch them go crazy. Look at them all. <laughs> 
Anyways, they have a nice selection of koi fish here. All different types. Ginrin I see in here. Maybe some showas. Really nice though. Really colorful. All whites, butterflies, you name it, they got it here. And like I said, I got my first two koi fish from Geyser Pets. Now we went indoors. Let's take a look outdoor where they have a couple more ponds with more koi fish and turtles. Let's go. So if you walk in the back of the store through the little hallway right next to the bathrooms, make a left, boom, you have these above ground outdoor ponds where they have some koi fish in here too as well. Let's see if we can see some of them. Yeah, you can see some of them down there swimming around. Look at them all. They probably think they're gonna eat. So I'll put my hand here. Really, really beautiful koi fish. Here's another above ground pond. Looks like they have some goldfish in here. These are goldfish. Look at them all. See, they think they're gonna eat. Yep, gold, goldfish in here. Oh, I see some guppies or something over here. See these little tiny fish? Maybe rice fish swimming around. But it's kind of neat how they have all of the water hyacinth in here to provide some shade. But not only that though, some protection of course. Oh my gosh, look at these big elephant ear. Man, these things are massive. You talk about a Jurassic plant, look how big this leaf is. This leaf is, is massive. Look at this thing. You wanna know why they call these things elephant ears? Sorry, that was my impression of an elephant, if you guys didn't know. All right, so just past all of the elephants. <gasps> Look at that turtle. Look at this guy. This guy is laying out, catching some rays. Look at his back fins or his back feet. Look at him. I've never seen a turtle sprawled out like that. This guy wants to get dry fast. Look at him. Yeah, those are nice yellow koi fish right there. Pretty colorful. This guy right here catching some rays too. What's up, bud? Hanging out, man? Sorry to interrupt you. We got a nice big red ear slider down there. Probably thinking we're gonna feed them. If you're looking for some pond turtles, they have pond turtles too. Look at these little guys. Hey, look at, wait for me. Oh, look at this long neck guy here, huh? Look how smooth he swims. So cool, so graceful, beautiful. All right, this is the time that we're gonna check out that beauty right over my shoulder, the 800 gallon community aquarium check it out look at this beauty omg -Z. i don't even know what to say look how big look at that jungle valve that jungle valve is taking over i promise you guys uh from the bottom to the top it's got to be three feet and then you can see it growing hanging over the top which is insane look at it causing even more shade but the thing escaped absolutely gorgeous now they got a nice collection of frontosa. Look at these beautiful pearl scale koi angels. Look how beautiful. I'm gonna get a little closer look. I just don't wanna scare any of them. We got some beautiful Congo tetras in here too as well. Some Bosmani rainbow fish. Here's a close up of the beautiful Congo fish. Look at the rainbow fish too as well. And then some koi angels. Look how pretty these koi angels are. Oh, look at. African cichlid in here too as well, thriving. Yeah, looks like a, maybe a Demasonite? If I'm not mistaken, gosh, it's been a while since I've been talking about um, African cichlids, but I'm pretty sure that's a Demasonite. If it's not a Demasonite, it maybe just an Mbuna. I'm not sure the type. Is this a chocolate cichlid? Ah, this is definitely a type of cichlid. They got a Turkana jewel cichlid in here too as well. And then look at the buffalo head. You got a buffalo head cichlid in the back there. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the nugget. You got a gold nugget pleco. I'm trying to get the shot of the buffalo head. There he is. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? They got a couple buffalo heads in here. Look at him. This is definitely his territory. He's scaring off anybody who gets close. That's funny. Like I said, they have frontosa in here too as well. So you can see they have a nice selection of fish in here and not only that though most of these fish if you kept in a smaller aquarium would not mix well i mean when have you ever seen frontosa hanging out with a bunch of angelfish but that's what you can do when you have an 800 gallon aquarium sky is definitely the limit when you have an aquarium this big now let me show you guys the star of the show i showed you guys many stars but this right here is like the a-lister in this aquarium here he is, he's coming right into frame. 
the beautiful Embu Puffer. Now, if you look at some of my older videos when I record this um, aquarium, he was small. He's actually putting on some size, showing a lot more personality, and talking with the staff here, he's actually very social. He used to run and hide. Now he's up in the front wanting to eat. Yeah, you wanna eat, buddy? Huh? You wanna eat? You're not scared, huh? Look at him. Super social. I wish, I wish I could have an Embu Puffer. Maybe one day we can keep one in Tiki Lounge. The reason why I say I wish is these are the largest freshwater puffers. I'll show you a picture of a full grown Embu Puffer. See? See how big they can get? Yeah, they can get monstrous. He is the A-lister. This is like uh, the Tom Cruise of the aquarium. I can't see a thing without my contacts. As I back out here, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like from afar, okay? So you guys get a, a better idea of how big and massive this aquarium is. Look at it, isn't it awesome? And when you walk in, you'll see it straight ahead. And there you have it, my Ohana. A nice little tour of Geyser Pets here in Yuba City. So all of their links will be down in the description below if you guys wanna come and check out another local fish store here in the greater Sacramento area. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to the entire staff here at Geyser Pets. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Take care, much love and aloha.